How's it going everyone? Back with another video. We're going to do something a little bit different today, but before we do that, if you haven't checked out my last video, please do so. This video will make a lot more sense if you do. In our last video, we talked about making a paper barbarian minifigure, and we used what was called a stencil, and we're going to also be talking about how we make character bases as well. So, if you remember, I used something like this to cut out and trace my barbarian minifigure. These guys just help get consistency with your characters and get the right pose you're looking for as well. I highly recommend these when you're making minifigures, especially if you're going to start mass producing some. The other thing we're going to be talking about are these guys here. These are wooden coins that I have painted gray, and there's no need to really paint the other side of these. Uh, just the front and sides will do. These you can get at any craft store. Um, they're very inexpensive to purchase and usually get a bundle of um, a dozen or so when you pick up these packs. So we're going to be talking about those today and how we make them. It's going to be a simple, shorter video. Hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. Now it's a pretty simple process. It's easy to use a scrap piece of paper you have lying around with this cardstock. And you have, uh, if you have another stencil ahead of time, it can be easier to make other ones based off of them as well. But the idea is pretty simple when you're cutting out your first one. Um, these minifigure uh, stencils tend to stand about an inch and a half tall for a standard human or elf character. Um, as, you, as you'll see later, you can make um, smaller ones too for like dwarves and halflings, at goblins, etc. Um, and here we just uh, we can uh, use the limbs on the stencil to kind of get a different angle. Here I'm going for a one arm raised, a character holding something above their head. Um, just you making the poses dynamic and unique with each one. Uh, once you get your initial stencil cut out, you can use that stencil to basically try out different poses and get the consistency you need when you're making uh, characters uniform and to scale with one another. So the process of cutting this guy out is not as tedious as actually cutting out the main minifigure, but the straight and consistent sizes and angles you get when you're making the stencils is well worth the time and I highly recommend it, like I said earlier, especially if you're going to be mass producing um, an army of minifigures, these stencils come in very handy for making all your characters the same size. Once you have an assortment of different kinds of stencils, you can get uh, those dynamic poses a lot easier if you have characters that are just standing still, characters that are pulling a bow or holding a spear, uh, wielding a sword. Um, and like I said, you can make smaller ones for dwarves, halflings, goblins, etc. Now when we're talking about the bases, uh, you're going to want to start with your uh, gray paint. I know a lot of um, uh, bases for typical minifigures use black. I prefer the gray just because it matches a lot of the terrain pieces I use. Um, and I'm using these uh, crafting tweezers, as you saw earlier in the previous video, to kind of help hold it as I paint and get around all the edges. And this just kind of helps keep all the paint from getting all over your fingers. Um, and once you get the sides and the front brushed really well, you can use this tweezers to hold it down as you finish up the paint. And it can be easy and quick to just mass produce several of these. And I highly recommend if you sit down to paint any of these bases, just sit down and pull a whole bunch of these out really quick. Well, there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions at all or would like to see anything specific, leave a comment below. I'd be happy to go over some other topics with you guys. We'll see you next time. Until we meet again.